Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to cross shape a messy stitches mesh bandana top For this top, it can fit for size small and size medium and for this tutorial, it's not really friendly for beginners but for you guys that already learned the basic stitches and have learned crochet top or closest before, you can follow this tutorial the stitches of this pattern, it looks messy and confusing but the fact is it's really easy I use only some basic stitches and combine them together and make the row and stitches this order and it will look like this as you can see Ok now without further ado, let's get started First thing first, I just want to remind you guys that for the stitches pattern, it's a combination of the bulk shade, chain, and loose chain. And I'm also using half the bulk shade. And you can see the messy stitch looking with the big loop or big hole. It's created with the multiple of chains, a big loose loop, and you combine the stitches together, make it disorder. So I'm gonna name the stitches in this pattern. It's called messy stitch. And I'm gonna show you how to make increase to get this V shape or the banana shape. Okay, now first make a slip knot. Then chain 4. And next skip 3 chains. And make the bulk shade into the last chain, which is the fourth chain. Make another the bulk shade into the same loop. And now you must have one chain stitch with two double crochet stitches. And for the next row, I'm start with chain three. For chain three, it count as one stitch. Then turn your work. Then add one more chain. And next, skip one stitch that near the chain stitch and make the double crochet into the next stitch. And next, chain one, and make a double crochet into the last chain stitch. And now you got a triangle shape that looks like a bandana. For the next row, I'm start with chain 3 again. And then turn your work. To make this triangle shape or the bandana look more bigger, you have to make increase. So I'm gonna add a half double crochet into the same loop with this chain stitch. Then I combine with chain 2 Skip 2 stitches of the row below and make half the bulk crochet into the next stitch And next, chain 1 and make half the bulk crochet into the 3rd chain And this is what the triangle shape or the bandana looks like. For the next row, I'm start with chain 5. Turn your work. Then skip 3 stitches and make the bulk shade into the next loop. It's a chain space. And this is what it looks like. And next, chain 2, skip 2 stitches and make the bulk shade into the next stitch which is the chain stitch and 
this is what it looks like and as you can see this little banana keep increasing and look bigger and next turn the triangle shape to the other side and we are start working the new row into the second side start with chain 3 then make the ball crochet next to the chain stitch And next, I think I want to combine with a loose loop. So I'm gonna pull the yarn on this hook a little bit loose and make chain 1. It's like a regular chain but make it loose. And next, you're gonna skip some few stitches at the row below by just guessing it. You don't need a specific measurement or specific stitches. Just see where the end of this big loop ends and point it downward like I did. Then add a double crochet stitches or any stitches that you want to combine. And as you can see, and now we got a big hole. And next, I think I want to make a new stitch. I'm gonna call it chain like a double crochet stitch. So first, you just pull the loop on the hook a little bit loose. Then insert the hook into the loop of the row below. Then yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have two loops on the hook. Then yarn over, pull through one loop. And now you still have two loops on the hook the same. Then yarn over and pull through all two loops. And this is how I make this new stitch that I call chain like a double crochet stitch. And next, I'm gonna repeat this stitch again. After I have made two chains like a double crochet stitch, and next I'm gonna add a double crochet into this last loop, which is the loop at the end of the row. And this is what the triangle shape looks like. Turn the triangle shape to another side, and we are going to start the new row into this third side. To begin, start with chain 3. Then make the double crochet into the loop that near chain 3 to make the stitches increase. And next, I'm gonna make a loose double crochet stitch by pull the yarn on the hook a little bit loose, about 1 inch. Then skip about 1 inch at the row below the same and make the double crochet into the next loop. And now you got a big loose double crochet. And next, make a loose chain 1. Then skip a few stitches of the row below and make the double crochet into the next loop. And this is what it looks like. And next, I'm gonna combine with a chain look like a double crochet. And then I want to mix it with a double crochet into the next stitch. And next, make a big loose chain 1. Then make the double crochet into the end of the row. And this is what the bandana shape looks like. And next, continue from where your last stitches and we are going to work the new row into the other side of the triangle. So for the next row, I just want to tell you that combine any basic stitches that you like. I recommend you to start with a chain 3 first and always add one more stitch into the same loop near chain 3 to make the bandana more bigger. And for the next next stitch, you just combine any stitches that you like, make it messy, loose. And I just want to tell you that at the end of the row, you can chain 1, cut off the yarn, and find the other corner of the triangle to start the new row. Because for this bandana top, we want to have a lift and tail of the yarn. We want the top looks like it's done but you're not yet weave in the end into the work yet. So you just keep those ends. Just remember that from one row to another new row, you have to make your row more longer and longer. Keep increasing the stitch by add more stitch at the beginning of the row and at the end of the row.
And as you can see now, this little triangle shape, it's giving the messy looks vibe. And remember, at the bottom of the bandana, we want it narrow and deep. And comparing this pink piece with the blue piece, it's giving a messy stitch and a big hole with loose loop almost look the same. It means that if you guys mix up those stitches together, different from mine, you still have the same messy effect, big holes and small holes in your bandana top the same. And this is what the half piece of my bandana top looks like. As you can see, this bottom part of the bandana is look narrow. For you guys that make bigger size, you can keep increasing, playing around with the stitches, add more rows into those each side of the triangle. And you can choose one side for the top part and for the bottom part must be pointy and narrow. And the wide part, it is for your under bust part. As you can see this small triangle in the middle, it is a base like I show you which is how to make this bandana. And beside it, I made a group of the bokeh shade and chains to make it as a border around the bandana. And at the end of the row or at the corner, I cut off the yarn and start repeat the same thing to the other side by make a groups of the bokeh shade stitches and chains. And now we are done for the bottom part and this is what it looks like by I said it's a measurement under my bust. It measuring from the first underneath of the underarm until it reach the underneath of the other underarm. And for the length of my under bust, which is the length of this bandana top, it is equal 15 inches. Like I said, for you guys that make bigger size, you can keep increasing by adding more rows until you got your desired length then stop increase and next we are going to make the crease at the both underarm part and we also make the bust part too as you can see in this picture we are going to make the crease it means that we are going to make it narrow from the underneath of the underarm until you reach the top bust which is the chest part and don't forget to use stitch marker to mark at this both corner before we make the bust part it is easy to count the number of the row and it's easy to know where you start making the crease for the bust part. To begin, you can start from any corner that you want. Attach the yarn into the first stitch which is the corner loop. For row 1, chain 5. So chain 5 is about 1 inch or a little bit more. And next, you have to skip the stitches at the row below, about 1 inch or 4 stitches the same. Then make a double shade or any stitch that you want into the next stitch. Remember, always use stitch marker to mark at this first double crochet stitch. It's easy for you to count the number of your row. As you can see at this corner, it looks really teal. And next, you just continue repeat the combination of the stitches that we have done before. You just continue make the messy stitch until you have about 1 inch or 4 stitches left. Then I will meet you back again. And after you have about 1 inch from the stitch marker, and next we are going to make the crease by skip these stitches and make a loose double shade into the last stitch which is the stitch where we marked. You guys can make a triple shade or make this loose double shade like mine. And next, don't forget to use stitch marker to mark at this last stitch. Like I said, it's easy to count the number of your row. And now for this side, it looks really teal too. Next, for row 2, chain 4. Then turn your work and repeat the same thing like row 1.
And this is what it looks like after we have made two rows of decrease. And for the next next row, you just keep repeating row 2 until you reach row 5. Then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 5. For the measurement from row 1 until row 5, it is equal 4 inches width. It measuring from the end of the bust until it reach the top of the bust. As you can see in this picture, for you guys that make bigger size if you want it more longer for your bust, you can keep adding more rows and decrease. And after you got your desired length, then stop decrease. So for my bust part, I made the chain 5 or the chain 4 and skip up about 1 inch and the result at the end the arm part it looks too teal so I decide to remake it by chain 3 and just skip 1 stitches to make it not look too teal or too curved at beside the end the arm part. The technique is the same like I make with chain 5 and skip about 1 inch. The difference is I make less chain by chain 3 then skip only 1 stitch. So the last stitch that you skipped is the less teal or the less curve beside the underarm part. Next, we are going to make the round neckline and make the V-shape or the small triangle for both sides. As you can see in this picture, this is what we're gonna make. To begin, fold this bandana piece into two pieces. Then use stitch marker to mark at the middle part of it. And next, measuring 2 inches length away from the middle part, which is where we use stitch marker to map. Then use another stitch marker and mark at the 2 inches. Then repeat the same thing with the other side. And for the stitches between this stitch marker, we are going to skip it. And next, we are going to make the crease for both sides again to make the V shape or the triangle shape. Continue from your last row. Next, for row 6, chain 3. Turn your work, skip one stitch and make the buckle shade into the next stitch. And don't forget to use stitch marker to mark at this first the buckle shade stitch. And next, continue make the messy stitch until you have one last stitch from stitch marker. Then I will meet you back again. After you have one last stitch, then skip one stitch and make the buckle shade into the stitch where we mark. And this is how we make the crease for those who don't want to make the stitches beside the underarm part not too teal or too curved. And next, keep repeating row 6 until you reach row 12, then we meet you back again. After you reach row 12, for row 13, chain 2, turn your work, skip 2 stitches and make the buckle shade. This is what the last row looks like, and then you can chain 1 and cut off the yarn. For you guys that make bigger size, you can keep decreasing until you don't have more stitch left to decrease. And next, please repeat the same thing to the other side. To begin, attach the yarn into the corner stitch, which is the first stitch. Then chain 3. 
skip one stitch and make double crochet into the next stitch. Then continue make the messy stitch until you have one last stitch and we are going to make the crease again. Repeat until you reach row 13 or until you got the same number of the row like the first side. Then we meet you back again. This is what it looks like after you reach row 13. To make sure that both sides are even, you can measuring from row 6 until row 13. It is equal 4.5 inches width. And as you can see for the other side, we also got the same number like the first side. So it means that both sides are even. And next, we are going to make a border around this neckline. To begin, attach the yarn into the corner stitch. Then chain 2 Next, make a half double crochet stitch into the next loop Then chain 1 Skip 1 stitch and make half double crochet into the next stitch Keep repeating this until you got 4 half double crochet Then I will meet you back again After you got 4 half double crochet, then make 2 more half double crochet but make it loose. Remember, you just make all those half double crochet stitch at the italic line which is at the teal stitches. And for the neckline below, you gonna make a loose double crochet until you reach the other italic stitches again. And then we are going to repeat by make half the double crochet with chains and half the double crochet until you reach the end of the row. And this is what it looks like. And next, we are going to make the strap. I'm switching from 4mm hook to 2.5mm hook. To begin, chain 2. Then make the double crochet into the next stitch. For the strap pattern, you just chain 2 Then make the bulk of shade into the same loop with chain 2 You just insert the hook into this both loop And make a double crochet stitch And this is what it looks like Please keep repeating this by chain 2 Then make a double crochet into the same loop with chain 2 Repeat until you got 40 inches length then I will meet you back again. Mm -hmm. 
and this is what it looks like after you reach 40 inches length if you guys want your strap more longer you can add more stitches and next you just chain one and cut off the yarn and for the other side we are going to repeat the same thing by attach the yarn into the corner stitch Then chain 3 and make the bokeh shade into the next stitch. And next, you just repeat the same thing like the first strap. Repeat until you got 40 inches length. Then I will meet you back again. And now both straps are done and this is what it looks like. And finally, our messy mesh bandana top is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. And I will post part 2 of the skirt in the next video. Please stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.